The Cloverfield Monster, or commonly referred to as Clover, starred in the 2008 film Cloverfield. In his big screen debut, Clover proceeded to destroy almost all of Manhattan in just under six hours. Imagine that for a second. Next slide. This is Manhattan. Next slide. This is Manhattan after Cloverfield had his way with it. Clearly, Cloverfield, Clover is one of the world's greatest monsters. Next slide. But is, Clo clear, but is Clover the greatest and strongest monster ever? To answer that question, Clover will have to defeat Godzilla, slide, the former king of monsters. Resolve that the Cloverfield monster could defeat Godzilla in a fight. The affirmative values that will be debated today are Cloverfield is stronger than Godzilla, the Cloverfield monster was scarier than Godzilla, and the mystery surrounding Clover's past added to the allure of the movie. According to director and producer James Williams, Clover is said to be an ancient creature that was awoken by a falling satellite. A simple satellite awoke this 300-foot, 5,800-ton sleeping giant and caused the cold, total destruction of Manhattan. Clover is equipped with arms that extend approximately 50 feet. That's right, 50 feet. That's about the size of a mass transit bus. And if that wasn't bad enough, Clover is infested with small parasites, slide, as you can see here. These parasites fall from the clover field by the hundreds and are approximately three feet high and four feet long. Now, although this may seem insignificant compared to the size of the combatants in today's bout, but remember that these parasites are each equipped with a neurotoxin that causes swelling of blood vessels and explosion. Yes, I did just say explosion. For the audience's sake, I have kept photos of said explosion out of today's slideshow. Clearly Clover has a very impressive arsenal of tricks up his sleeve, but his opponent Godzilla will determine the outcome of this fight. Godzilla, formerly known as the King of Monsters, has a bit of a historic past. In the first Godzilla movie, Godzilla King of Monsters, Godzilla is depicted as being a prehistoric dinosaur that was awakened and mutated by an increase in radioactivity in Japan. Therefore, slide. Godzilla is nothing more than a giant lizard. Next slide. That got a little too close to Hiroshima or Nagasaki when the H-bomb went off. According to Ishiro Honda, the director of the original Godzilla, Godzilla is 400 feet tall and able to breathe nuclear radiation. A force to be reckoned with, no doubt. But how does he equate to Clover? It's important to remember that Clover has arms that stretch 50 feet in length. My beautiful assistant, Mr. Jacobson, will now come up and do a visual aid with me. Sam, you can just stand right there. You will be representing Godzilla in this visual aid. I will be representing Clover. These are my 50 feet, my 50 feet long arms. Now, I want you to try and come at me without me hitting you with my arms. <laughs> try it again. Why don't you try it again? Clearly, there is no way for Godzilla to get at Cloverfield when his arms give him a 50 feet advantage. Also, it is important to remember the speed factor. Uh, I have a YouTube clip here. Yes. No, no, no. Put him right here. Sam right here. Go to Clover. Clover. Up top. Up top. To the left. Alright, play. This is the Cloverfield monster claiming another victim. Here we can see Cloverfield as he's about to strike. You can pause it. What a poor victim. Now, let's watch Godzilla. There, it took Godzilla a good four seconds to turn about 90 degrees, when it took the Cloverfield monster about three seconds to jump all the way down 350 feet and snatch up an unsuspecting victim. Look at the speed comparison here, where it's like comparing apples to oranges. How can, the, how can Godzilla expect to defeat Clover when he, Clover's moving at ten times his speed? It's just not possible. 
Also, it is important to remember that Cloverfield was much scarier than Godzilla. The parasites that he produced were one of the scariest creatures in creation. They were fast, quick, and they made you explode. Not something you want to reckon with. In conclusion, the fight between Clover and Godzilla would be not much of a fight at all. It would be a massacre. This is not to say that Godzilla is not a terrifying and ferocious monster, because he is. But when stacked against Clover, Godzilla does not stand a chance. It is due to Clover's parasitic minions, long arms, and speed that he would be able to defeat Godzilla. Remember, as the wise Mr. Miyagi once said, power of punch don't matter. Only matter if punch fast enough to hit target. Thank you, and vote Clover. Only matter.